Viral pathogenesis is a term that generally describes the processes by which viral infection results in a disease. It includes the following processes. 1. Implantation of the virus at the portal of entry. 2. Local replication. This involved the multiplication of the viral particle through the lytic phase by hijacking the host cell's reproductive mechanism. Spread to target organs. 4. Spread to site of shedding the virus into the environment. Implantation of virus at portal of entry. Virions implant onto living cells mainly via the respiratory, gastrointestinal, skin penetrating, and genital roots although other roots can be used. The final outcome of infection may be determined by the dose and location of the virus as well as its infectivity and virulence. 2. Local replication. Replicated virus from the initially infected cell then disperse to infect neighboring susceptible cells, possibly with spread to different cell types like leukocytes. This can happen through a lytic viral cycle, b lysogenic viral cycle, 1. Viral lytic cycle. The following are the steps of the lytic cycle. 1. Attachment. The attachment of the phage takes place to the host cell surface to administer the DNA within the cell. 2. Penetration. The DNA is injected by the phage into the host cell by penetrating the membrane of the cell. 3. Transcription. The DNA of the host cell is destructed and the metabolism of the cell is mediated to start the biosynthesis of the phage. 4. Biosynthesis. The replication of the phage DNA takes place within the cell, producing novel phage proteins and DNA. 5. Assembly. The transformation of the replicated material takes place into the matured viral phages. 6. Lysis. The newly produced phages are discharged from the infected cell to look out for the novel host cells to infect. b. Lysogenic phase. Contrary to the lytic phase, viral DNA RNA, is impregnated into cell DNA and split up when the cell is splitting. Viral replication cycle in which the virus's nucleic acid is integrated into the host cell's chromosome. A provirus is formed and replicated each time the host cell reproduces. The host cell is not killed until the lytic cycle is activated. 3. Viral local spread among cells. Local spread among epithelial cell. Many viruses, e.g., poxviruses and papillomaviruses, replicate in epithelial cells at the site of entry, produce a localized or spreading infection in the epithelium, and are then shed directly into the environment. Infection spreads by sequential infection of neighboring cells b. Subepithelian viral spread. Viruses can enter the network of lymphatics beneath all cutaneous and mucosal epithelia. Virions entering the lymphatics are carried to local draining lymph nodes. c. Bloodstream spread. Once a virus has reached the bloodstream, usually via the lymphatic system, it can localize in any part of the body within minutes. The presence of virus in the blood is called viremia. 4. Viral shedding outside the environment. 1. Budding. Virus budding occurs intracellularly at membranes of the intermediate compartment between the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, and the Golgi complex. Newly assembled virions are transported by vesicular transport to the cell surface, where they are released via exocytosis. 2. Apoptosis. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, is essential in development and homeostasis in multicellular organisms. It is also an important component of the cellular response to injury. Many cells undergo apoptosis in response to viral infection, with a consequent reduction in the release of progeny virus. 3. Exocytosis or reverse endocytosis. Exocytosis is the reverse, the process by which substances are released from the cell. 